Okay, so I just finished decorating my daughter's infinity bag, and I really wanted to put a bow holder on it to hold all of her bows, and they're not that expensive, but I really couldn't find one in her team colors, which are purple, black, and silver, um, and sometimes white. So silver and white kind of interchangeable. Anyway, um, so I decided to make one myself. And I looked for different how-to videos and I really couldn't find any good ones of what I wanted. Um, so I decided to make a video of how I'm going to make mine. And post it on the internet for anybody else to help them when or if they decide to do it. So um, to start off with, uh, you'll need ribbon. You'll also need Velcro or snaps. I've seen them fastened a couple different ways, so you need to figure out how you want to fasten your loops. Um, and then what I did is because I wanted I wanted to decorate mine really pretty, so I started off with the I used two inch width gross grain in purple. Then um, I used an inch and a half. With, with the purple zebra and this is um, 5 eighths in a solid purple and then this one is 3 eighths and it's um, the velvet glitter ribbon silver so first thing I did was cut out to 30 inches it's only gonna it's gonna be folded in half double-sided uh, with bows on each side um, so it'll only be 15 inches uh, when we get finished with it, but that's what I did. And then I uh, layered the three different ribbons on top of each other and applied them with heat and bond and then applied heat and bond to the back. Um, make sure when you're doing the heat and bond that you're doing it a later layer at a time. Um, I put this one on first and then I had to go through and heat it up th uh, two more times when I applied this one and this one and I was really worried I was going to have a lot of trouble getting the waxy part off of this one luckily I didn't but if I was going to do it again I would start off with putting the small one on connecting it to the medium then putting the heat and bond on the back of the zebra print connecting it to the large one and then last putting it on this so alright then I folded it in half and marked my fold, I'm going to put a bow on top of mine. You could pretty much put anything you wanted, big gemstone, uh, keychain, I don't know, anything you want. Um, but I'm planning on putting a bow on mine, so I just marked it with a permanent marker because I know that'll be a silver one um, because I know that'll be hidden. And then I just marked it with dots three inches apart. Um, I just kind of played with how many bows that I wanted it to hold and how neatly they uh, laid on each other. And about three inches was good in my opinion. Again, these numbers aren't set. It's just what I liked. So you can play with yours um, and then go from there. And so then the next step is going to be for me to... Um, where are all my little bows? My daughter just grabbed one. The next step will be for me to. I want the loop, like some of the ones I saw, clip on to the hairband. And I would rather not put more stress on the hairbands because you know you always have issues with them popping off sometimes. Um, so I wouldn't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to loop it around the center of the bow to put it on here. So I'm going to measure one. Oops, sorry. I'm going to measure and figure out how long I need to make all the little loops and I'll bring you back in. Okay, so after um, holding up the ribbon to the bows, um, I ended up cutting them three and a half inches long. I don't know if I said uh, these were 30 inches, the um, length of the entire thing. So when we fold it in half, it's gonna be approximately 15. Um, so three and a half inches long and then I cut pieces of the velcro see I have the that's the rough side facing outwards on one end and on the other end the soft side so then when you loop this around it'll catch then here I've got a couple of them sewn 
sorry, need more hands. Um, just set them straight onto the center part of the ribbon, and then they'll cush. So I'm gonna finish sewing the rest of these on, and then I'm gonna fold it in half and iron it. Now with um, this kind of ribbon, I've gotta put a protective piece of cloth over it before I iron it, otherwise I might melt it. So just keep that in mind. Um, the gross grain you'll be fine. Well, people say you can melt it, but I don't put my iron that hot. But with the velvet, um, you have to be really careful. So I also burnt the edges of the of of the silver pieces before I sewed the Velcro on, just to prevent it from fraying or anything. So as soon as I finish that, I will bring you back. Okay, so I sewed on on the loops like that. Um, I cut the end of it in a little fork, um, and then I. Ironed it in half. I added this little section, this piece of up here, because I figure when it's time to put the bow on, it might help me put the bow on on top. Uh, so this is it with some of the bows hanging on there. Obviously, it's working pretty well. So the only thing that I sewed was the um, Velcro onto these strips and then onto here. So, um, I know that a lot of people don't have sewing skills, uh, I'm a seamstress, so, but, um, in that case, I would, I would not use the adhesive Velcro, that stuff does not stick very well, um, so if you don't have Velcro, you can hand sew it, but um, I would if I was going to hand sew something, I'd probably hand sew snaps or something. You could also get like this uh, machine and it like rivets it in. Um, if I wasn't a sewer and I wasn't comfortable, that's what I would go to the fabric store and get. I would get the little rivet machine and the snaps and just put the pieces on the ends there and then iron them together like that. So um, that's what I would suggest. As soon as I am completely finished with you, I'll do another little uh, picture of the completed bow holder. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and good luck. Okay, so okay, so here it is all done. Um, I put the bow on top. And I just used a uh, metal keychain ring there on top. Um, I might put rhinestones on it. I might not. Uh, but for the most part, it is done. This is what it looks like with all the bows on it. Um, I haven't put any bows on the back yet. But it will be very easy to clip on to here. Again. I need two hands. There we go. Um, for her bow holder on her bag. So that's what I did. If you have questions, leave them in the comments.